All right, what is going on guys and gals? This is going to be a quick explanation about the radiation zone. This is going to be the new update that we're going to have out in the server. And uh, depending on when you're watching this, this will be new or not. But uh, this is being pretty much released now. Today, July 8th, 2020. We are opening up the city in the Blaine County server. All right, well, so typically, most of you are already used to the border being somewhere around this area. The border has been extended down now further. There is a border fence that is up in place. And there are certain areas that you guys are going to have to discover on your own where you can get through the border fences. There are also gates located on the highways in certain areas that you'll be able to get unlocked if you complete the power pay, uh, power station mission, which knocks out all the power, unlocks all the doors, which will in turn unlock the gates to access the, uh, the city. So that is going to be another way as well. Uh, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of different types of robberies that you'll be able to do down here, multiple banks, um, all sorts of things uh, that you'll be able to rob down here. Um, for items and money as well so make sure you really explore down here not everything is going to be marked on the map I do want you guys exploring for some of this stuff so keep that in mind when you head into the radiation zone you're not going to be able to just stay down there you can see on the uh, left side of my screen I got the pop-up warning you have entered an irradiated area you're going to get that warning before you actually get into the area where it's going to start affecting your body now I'm going to have to maximize my screen here real quick All right, there we go. Hang on one second. Mouse. All right, there we go. Okay, so you can see down there uh, next to the map, it'll be kind of hard to see on the screen probably. But when you get in the server, you will notice it. It says right down there, your level of radiation. Mine currently is reading zero. If it gets to 100, you will die, okay? And if you die in the irradiated area, it'll be especially bad because your corpse will then start soaking in radiation, which will take you over 100. If that happens and then you respawn, you will still be irradiated. Okay, it's meant as a cooldown to keep you out of the radiation area. You're not supposed to be spending a lot of time down here. It's not supposed to be your main focus. The idea of the, the irradiated area is you go in, you do your raiding, and then you get out in time to recuperate. Recuperate? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> words are hard. When you um, come out of the irradiated area, your radiation levels will slowly uh, lower. As you're in certain spots of the irradiated area, it'll go up faster, and some areas will go up slower. So make sure you're keeping, you know, paying attention to that as well. It's not always going to be the same amount of exposure that you're going to be receiving. You can see right here is going to be one of the gates. And we're not getting, uh, you know, radiation poisoning yet. So, if we use a little bit of witchcraft here, we head into the irradiated area. Oh boy, this car is perfect. Perfect color. <laughs> we'll head into uh, the city here. And uh, you'll notice that the radiation level will slowly start to rise. As we get uh, closer and further into uh, the toxic area. So there, you can see I'm already up to one. And it's going to slowly rise up as time goes on. Now I'm up to two. Some areas it'll rise, you know what I mean, twice as fast as what you're seeing it right here. Um, some places it might be even be, you know, three times as bad. Oh boy, my graphics are skitzing out. <laughs> but uh, anyways, and, and usually guys, when you see that sort of error, if you have that kind of thing, the only thing that I've really uh, related that to is the amount of alt-tabbing you're doing when you're playing the game. 
So I was alt tabbed for a good long while there, and then coming back into it, it seems like it like eats up memory of some kind. And if you notice in your FA console, it does create a recording. Um, you know, it creates a video recording of what happened while you were out of your head. Uh, and then when you come back in, so that's what I'm guessing that's related to. So if you guys ever experience that, that's what that's all about. There we go. Okay, so that is uh, just a quick brief uh, understanding of what the radiation zone is. And uh, if you do die down here, okay, and you spawn back in Sandy Shores, you're going to want to go ahead and climb into uh, one of the medical beds right there in Sandy Shores. Just climb into one of those beds, and you're going to have to sit there until your radiation levels get below 100. Uh, also note that when your radiation levels get above, um, I think it's like 65 or 75, somewhere around there, your character is going to start, you know, feeling ill. He's going to start probably dying slowly. So, you know, you really want to limit the amount of time that you're spending in this toxic area. So you want to come down, you want to try to do one robbery, and then you need to get back out of this area. Alright? Another thing that I need to really stress, guys, is you cannot, you cannot fly helicopters into this area and back out of this area. That is going to be one of the golden rules about this city. There may become a time where there is one select helicopter that can be used... But for right now, the rule that stands is that you cannot fly down here, use a helicopter to do a robbery, and then fly back out. If it's seen, you will be pulled aside by an admin. They'll give you a reprimand. You'll probably get a 24-hour uh, ban because it's already being explained thoroughly that helicopters cannot be used in this zone. Okay? So nobody can use the excuse of, I didn't know. Another thing that we got to point out as well is the police will not respond to any kind of robberies in this area. The police, however, will be watching the border for robbers and looters to be passing into Blaine County and to be going into the city. It is not legal in any shape or form to be in the south half of the map right now. Okay, so make sure that when you're crossing the border, you don't see the police, you know, you're hiding from the police. It's not something blatant. You know, um, it's definitely something that needs to be considered. Another thing that needs to be considered is when you see other criminals down here, this is a lawless area. So if you see someone, you want to rob them for their stuff, that, by all means, that can happen. So when you go into this area, you are accepting the responsibility of, I, I may get killed. Okay, you cannot send an admin a thing and say, hey, these guys killed me, took my stuff, or whatever. If you say you were in this part of the map, it, it's going to be thrown out. All right? If it happens in the northern half of the map, and, you know, they break roleplay, and they just kill you randomly, or anything along those lines, then you can, yes, report it. But if it happens in the city, it, it, what happens in the city pretty much stays in the city, guys. All right? If you uh, are running from the police, and you head down to the city... And, um, you know, they're, they're chasing you, more or less. And you cross the border. They won't pursue you. The cops won't pursue you. But if you have a hostage, they will pursue after you into the hostile area or into the irradiated area. So just keep in mind there are certain circumstances where the police can get the okay to pursue after you into this zone. It's not a safe zone for criminals or anything like that. It is really a lawless area that the police occasionally may get called into. EMS will never respond to you if you are in the irradiated area. So that's another thing you guys got to keep in mind. Don't think that if you die down here, you're going to hit your EMS button and they're going to come save you. Because that is not going to happen. Alright. I think that uh, pretty much wraps up the basics of the irradiated area. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun out there. You can see I'm already up to 50 right now. So if I was, you know, I, I, half of my time <laughs> has been expelled so far here. And it may get uh, lengthened. We may add items to lengthen uh, the stay that you can have in the irradiated area. But there will never be a fast way to remove it. We don't want to have anything like that. Because like we said, we want to have people using it as a cooldown. Come down, do your robbery. 
go check out the casino, go for a boat ride, go for a hike, go drink at the bar, go down to the nightclub, do something else. But make sure you guys aren't abusing it. If you see people that are, by all means, please report it. That's the way we keep the community uh, good and strong. And I will see all you guys out there, hopefully in the uh, toxic zone.